Yo, what's good guys? Uh, today, I'm gonna be trying my best at least to teach you guys how to team build hyper offense for Ubers. So, um, I wanted to do this hyper offense tutorial first since hyper offense is really easy to build. It's very easy to play as well. Um, especially for somebody coming new to the tier like I was about three months ago, playing with HO allowed me to learn the tier as best as I could. And I had somebody teach me how to build HO. So, it made coming into the tier and learning team building much easier. So I wanted to I wanted to give that resource to other people. There will be timestamps in the description on me covering these four different uh, most meta HOs. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So first we'll be starting with webs. Um, with webs HO, they're usually pretty standard, but I like to find uh, the sixth mon is usually uh, what is interchangeable the most. I'll go over the necessary five. The necessary five is going to be, you're going to need Rabombi for the webs. You're going to want Maridon, Karidon, whoops, I can't spell, Karidon, uh, Arceus, Zation, and then the fifth is pretty interchangeable, to be completely honest. So one idea I got pretty recently, I think I recorded on the video like a few months ago, was um, Kieran Black, but not any Kieran Black set. Kieran Black, uh, its coverage options are pretty limited, so usually you're going to go Dragon Dance, Loaded Dice, uh, Scale Shot, Icicle Spear. What I thought about though, uh, since most of the time it will tear electric, it, most of the steals it neutrally hits can always eat one, those steals being Zacian and NDM. Uh, and then other really bulky things like Calyrex Ice always eats Scale Shot. So I thought, what can hit all of them? And then also beat some uh, Will-O-Whispers, so say, for example, Skeldurge. I thought, Terra Fire, Terra Blast. Terra Blast, right, lets you break through those, um, lets, you, lets you break through the physically bulky um, steals. Not even physically bulky, I think Zacian eats plus one Fusion Bolt really easily. I'm not sure about in terrain, don't, don't, don't check me on these calcs. So let's say I'm building Kieran Black webs now, right? Um, against this sixth lot is super interchangeable. Um, Meteor Beam Eternatus is super popular last if you want to add another special attacker. Uh, a lot of things can work in this slot, to be completely honest. But let's say I just go with this Kieran Black set. The best part about EVing for webs is almost everything is going to be max max. Actually, uh, I'll be honest, everything's max max on webs, except for your RCS, usually that's it. Um, so let's say we want to build around this Kieran Black set. I'll, I'll take it out from the top first. With Rabombi, there's about two or three variations of sets that you're always going to want to run. The dead standard one is going to be this. Just Focus Sash, Sticky Web, Moonblast, Dunspore, Pounce. Now, if you haven't played Ubers, you're going to be looking at Pounce like, why the fuck does Rabombi even need Pounce? Because when I came into Ubers, I was like, why the fuck does it even need Pounce? Because a lot of things, I'll speed it right. Base 124 ain't shit in this tier. So... Usually, off most leads, Rabombi can pounce for free to scout taunt or just to um, make the opponent able to revenge them. Or so, so when Rabombi goes down, your other guys on the team can revenge them. Um, this is the dead standard set. Stun Spore can usually be traded with Bug Buzz over since pounce into Bug Buzz always Oko's Deoxys speed, but Moonblast is not. Um, the item's also pretty interchangeable. I've seen Scarf, although Scarf I don't think is that good, it doesn't work really well. It gets farmed by certain sets, and if you lock into Sticky Web Scarf and your opponent knows, you're kind of fucked. Um, Mental Herb has worked before just because of how popular Taunt Maridon is. Uh, that's a pretty... I haven't I haven't seen it work in action though, but uh, I do know that exists. Whoops, not Focus Fan, Focus Sash. Terra Steel, you're always going to want Terra Steel since the most popular lead that has removal is going to be Glamora. And Glamour works very well as an anti-HO tech. Um, Terra Steel just blocks Mortal Spin. Although exhausting Terra on lead is usually not best. Uh, it is there. Next is Maridon set. On webs, 110% of the time, you are going to want to be Taunt lead. Where is it? Pivot Taunt. Pivot Taunt gives you actual counterplay into things like... Uh, Glamora HO, you can taunt their Glamora leads. Uh, so looking at something like that, getting T-Spikes up into this team, if I didn't have Eternatus, is just horrendous. It's really bad. So you're always going to want to have um, 
taunt there. You might be thinking, okay, maybe I need more special breaking power. I promise you, you don't. This is all the special breaking power you're going to need. Um, these guys can do the job just fine. Maridon, even with uh, heavy duty boots, it does get a little harder, you know, playing into uh, something like a Ho Oh matchup, but that's why things like Terrifier, Kieran Black work. You have Wild Charge Station, uh, Scale Shot, Karidon at plus two, Oko's Ho Oh. Um, you have a lot of counterplay to things like that, so don't worry too much about that. Usually, I don't find, I don't like offensive Terras. This team is not too E speed weak. So, Maraud on two best Terras on teams like these. It's usually going to be Fairy or Ghost. Although, I find Fairy works better because, perfect segue, Crydon's always going to be Terra Ghost. Um, uh, spoiler alert, Terra Fire Flare Blitz is just straight up not good. Um, I don't think it's really good. I mean, now it's, I guess you can argue it's better since E Speed Arceus is much less popular with the Basque Legion ban and people are opting to run defensive Arceus is much more. I still find it uh, really good to just keep that Terra Ghost in the back. It also leaves, um, you know, Choice Locked, Coridon, Terra Fight, CC, uh, Zacian. Although I think Behemoth Bash might Oko you. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, this set works really well. You can go low kick with sub, you can trade one of these for a substitute, but I don't like that set very much. Um, you can trade Flare Blitz with Flame Charge, but if you're going to do that, you're going to want to go Terra Fire. Um, so with this set, you can change it out for two things. You can just go standard, E-Killer, E-Killer, I don't know who made the sample set, this is not real. I was going to want to go Silk Scarf, Terra Ghost usually works best. And then normal, and then fire. Fire works best on bulk up killer, and bulk up killer just is not as good on webs. I prefer e killer. Um, so this is this is like a perfectly fine set. Um, but what also works is instead of Arceus, you can go Arceus ground. A lot of people prefer Arceus ground on webs, uh, since the priority isn't as important. If you're getting webs up, you have counterplay to other priority. You have Terra Ghost guys. You got steals. You got like a bulky Kiram or and or. Um, Eternatus in the back, right? So most people like Dragon Dance NDM just because it gives them actual offensive counterplay to... Sorry, defensive counterplay to Maridon. Especially if you're playing Taunt or if you're playing Boots Maridon. Boots Maridon is still out speeding half of this team with Sticky Webs up. And then it's speed tying with these two guys. And if you've ever played Ladder, just know your opponent will go for that speed tie. Um, this gives you some defensive leeway. You can Dragon Dance and EQ on it. Um, and it gives you another way to hit that ho I was talking about that's kind of annoying for this team. And Taunt to shut down other boosting sweepers against you, but I don't know why I'm saying Taunt. Both Arceuses get Taunt. I'm losing my mind. Uh, next, Zacian. Zacian's always going to be super standard. I don't know why they don't have the analysis for this, but I'm going to tell you guys about it right now. Always going to want Swords Dance, Close Combat, Behemoth Bash, Wild Charge. If you're running... Play Rough is... Uh, it's, it's usually not good. You're going to want to go... There's there's like three viable Terras for Zacian. Fighting's the best. Fighting's the best, I'll tell you why. Because uh, plus two close combat... Plus two, sorry, after you Swords Dance. So plus three close combat will Oko common bulky things that uh, people playing webs hate. So things like uh, NDM Trick Room and Glass... Uh, sorry, Calyrex Ice bulky Trick Room setup. They both die just straight up to plus 2 CC. Sorry, plus 2 as in... You know what I mean by plus 2 CC. Um, you're going to want Wild Charge just to hit Ho-Oh. Behemoth Bash is the world's greatest stab of all time. You can go Terra Electric on this as well, but I don't think as as good. And Terra Fire is super situational. It's way too Ho-Oh fishy for my liking. That's it. Um, one cool thing I want to talk about is... Sorry, not cool thing. With playing webs, there's... Uh, there's two important things you really want to consider. It's how are you going to get your webs up and how can you do that without like insta losing? There's a few ways you can Sorry, how do you how do you want to get your webs up and how do you want to prevent other people from getting hazards up and especially webs. If you're playing the webs mirror, you really want to focus on how to get rid of those webs. So there's numerous ways to do that. Um Again, taunt Mirai, as I said is usually the best, most consistent. There's other ways to do it. Namely, substitutization. Substitutization sets sits on 
any version of Rabombi, and if that Rabombi chooses to get greedy, clicks pounce or something, you have a substitute up. Sure, maybe you only have the coverage of two attacks, but that's like a plus three-ization behind a substitute. It's going to force a Terra at the minimum, if not like one to two sacks. Uh, that's one way to play around it. But anyway, this is like a this is a pretty solid standard team. Um, yeah. So, moving on to Hazard Lead HO. Hazard Lead HO, um, it hasn't been favored as much recently. I don't think it's as good. Um, so, it's pretty standard. There's two leads always. You're either going to lead, um, I can spell. You're either always going to lead Deoxys Attack. So, there's you just got to think about the differences between Deoxys Attack and Deoxys Speed. Deoxys Speed is if you favor the bulk and favor, you know, taunting, getting up one or two hazards. Uh, Deoxys, however, is if you prefer just, like, getting damage off. I think Psycho Boost still does 60 to resisted steals. Most of them, like, Zation takes 50, I think? I might be lying. I might be lying. Uh, so most of these, if you're going to go Hazard, Lead, DOA, um, go Focus Sash, uh, Psycho Boost is a must, Psycho Boost, and then usually Taunt just to prevent other uh, setup guys, and then Spikes. With Hazard Offense Lead, you are always going to want to go Spikes. Look at the Ubers here and look at Stealth Rocks versus Spikes. So many things are grounded and forced to not run Boots. Um, take, I can't name them off the top of my head, but just, if you take a look, you'll know. And the things that do get hit hard by Stealth Rock, more often than not, are running Heavy Duty Boots, except for, like, the two guys running Choice Band Ho-Ho on ladder. So you are gonna be one of running Spikes and Taunt on these guys, that is just simply a given. Um, usually Terra Ghost on DOA just for, uh, E-Speed. The last is super interchangeable, right? You can go Shadow Ball, you can go Low Kick to hit. Low Kick's not as good on lead, though. You can go Rock Slide if you really uh, don't like the Ho-Oh matchup. There's a, you have a lot of leeway in your options here, but what is nice about Deoxys Attack versus Deoxys Speed is it is much more threatening for your opponent as a lead, offensively speaking. They can't sort of just ignore it and set up. Granted, you can't do that on Deoxys as, as much, but you also know it's not going to be threatening you back with a lot of damage. Like, I think... Um, yeah, it's, not, it's, it's just not going to be threatening you back with a lot of damage. So as long as you're hitting your Psycho Boosts, you're good. Um, and then, so for Deoxys Speed, we got a lot of options. It's usually, you're going to want... You're going to want Psycho Boost to stab. Psycho Boost, you're going to want... The most dead standard set, right, is this. The reason you're going to want Max Attack is you need that Max Special Attack just to kill Coridon. Uh, if not, you know, some weirdo greedy players, they'll run, um, they'll just scale shot into you as Psycho Boost, dodges the kill, and then you're kind of fucked. Uh, usually you want Terra Ghost here. What's nice is with Deoxys Speed, you can really get creative with the item. There's three most viable items. It's pretty similar to Rabombi. You just go good old Focus Sash. Uh, that works fine. You can go Mental Herb to dodge other taunts. Or you can go... Um, what's it called? Mental Herb. I'm forgetting. God, I've, I've lost it. Rocky Helmet, right. Rocky Helmet's a nice punish to things like uh, Scarf, U-Turn, Karai. Things that try to lead on you to, you know, U-Turn, break a Sash. You can get pretty valuable chip off of that. And then with the Terra, you can go Terra Ghost. Uh, on this guy, you can also go Terra Dark for the reason I'm about to list, but I don't think it's as good as this guy. You can go Terra Dark to... If, if you really are not liking the screens matchup, you Terra Dark turn one and taunt the opposing Grim Snarl so they can't taunt you. And for the last move, usually T-Wave, Thunder Wave looks, works fine. You're going to want more disruption than damage because you are picking this guy over Deoxys Speed for more disruption than damage. There are much more optimized sets. I think, um, yeah, 20 hits a speed bump. So like the, f the fastest things in the tier base are going to be 538. Um, 20 is fine. Uh, in the sample teams I've linked below, there should be an Oreo one with a lot of speed. Or, sorry, an Oreo one that's like a super spec'd out set, I think, to live a bunch of stuff. Outspeed, Glimit, minus one, a bunch of cool stuff. Um, so yeah, this is, this is like the most dead standard set. With, uh, 
the thing is with lead offense, it gets a lot more complicated because there's a lot of options you want, you can run on these. But usually you're favoring these to be bulkier options. So take things like most uh, hazard lead offenses will have a trick room core in the back. So you'll probably be taking NDM Calyrex Ice uh, and running them as trick room guys. You go offensive trick room, offensive trick room. Uh, just real quick, fuck whoever made this adamant and not brave zero attack IVs. You're an active hater and you were probably trying to sabotage people on ladder. Me included. Um, anyway, this is super standard stuff. Um, then usually you just want to run the other HO guys. Again, on HO, it is extremely simple to win. You just want the fucking broken guys. Um, so take, for example... Uh, whoops, not EQ, that's not a real guy. Just take Arceus, Coridon, Maridon. This is an extremely solid team, right? You can go... With this one, you can go... Um, Taunt Pivot probably works best, but you can... No, Taunt Pivot's gonna work best. Uh, this guy, you're gonna wanna go Scale Shot. Always, on these offenses, what you're gonna notice is Scarf Cry is kinda made for balance. Scale Shot Cry is made for offense and just just winning uh here you can go sde killer you can also afford to fit ground cs here honestly um but you have other options to play around right on there namely instead of terrifier terrifier lum is bad you can go terrifier ground you can go or you can go terrifier weakness policy these work calyrex you're going to want to keep this set this is always going to be the set any other set's not that good mental herb is fine Akaberry's niche at best, I'd rather Terrifier on it. Um, Arce is going to be Arceus, don't use this set, please use... Okay, I forgot the one I linked, but uh, please, please use uh, Silk Scarf, and please go Terra Ghost, because you're going to want the damage, especially on SD. Terrifier is fine with bulk up, because you can afford to start rolling up attacks. Uh, anyway... This is, this is like the world's most standard lead offense team. You can swap out this DOA with Deoxys Speed. All right, next up, we got uh, Screens HO. Screens HO has been super popular on ladder lately. Um, I wouldn't know. I've, I've been playing ladder semi-recently, but I have played like one Screens team. So Screens HO is pretty obvious what you're going to want to lead with always. You're going to want to go Grim Snarl. And uh, Trick Room Core is always best. This this team will look... Ex this is this is dead standard, by the way. This is what you want to build dead standard. The, the, the roles they can fill, you can play with that by yourself. But this is how to build very standard. Um, so you're going to want to go Grimmsnarl again. Coridon and Maridon. But with this Maridon, you're always going to want to go with Double Dance. Personally... I think the best double dance set on screens, you're going to want to go with uh, weakness policy and agility, uh, parabolic charge. You would always prefer the longevity when you're on screens and you always are going to want a defensive terra type. Coridon, guess guess what set we're going with. That's right, buddy. Scale shot webs. Um, and then the last is, you can, you can go with quite a bit for last, honestly. Um, what works best is though it's going to be very similar to the last three guys Arceus Normal um, Calyrex and NDM exact same sets as I mentioned in the last one this is going to be dead standard it's going to work best these guys can all abuse screens you're going to want things that abuse screens right Crydon perhaps I think Terra Fire might actually work better on screens this can abuse screens very well Maridon with weakness policy just fucking owns everything with screens up and your opponent hits the super effective move. Uh, Arceus Normal really likes stacking up boosts uh, versus things that can't status it on screens. And then weakness policy NDM is amazing on screens and Calyrex Ice is just Calyrex Ice. It's kind of broken and stupid and you just click the buttons. I'm reviewing the recording right now, and I'm realizing that I did not cover Eevee and Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl, you're usually going to want to go with uh, Terra Steeler, Ghost works best, Light Clay of Chlorus. And the attack usually isn't worth it. I find you want to go uh, 
light screen, reflect, taunt, parting shot. This usually works best, even with the fairy stab, it's not going to do much. And just being a fairy type by virtue allows you to wall out, Kar not wall out, it allows Karadon to not boost up with speed. Uh, this works best. I think the optimized set is like 248, 116. Um, whatever's enough to live uh, Zacian Behemoth Bash from full. This is usually going to work best. You're going to want to go enough to live a Zacian Behemoth Bash from full with a Reflect up. And then get a light screen in the back. That's just usually for... So you can get up both screens and then die. And then just go into a threat and win. There's some games that you're just not going to be able to keep Grimstone all alive. There's some games you're going to keep Grimstone all alive for an alarming amount of time. It's pretty weird. Um, yeah, that's how it works. Sorry, I did not mention it. Back to Z video. Now, my last HO. This is actually my favorite one to build just because... Just because I think this is the most meta, the best one, and the one that beats all the other HOs. I mean, granted, it, it would beat them since it is anti-HO. So, let's start talking about Glamora anti-HO. Glamora anti-HO, it's, it's become sort of a renaissance where it's the same five, and then you can swap out. The, the last guy is pretty interchangeable. I'll go over the first five. It's always going to be Glamora... Um, Glamora, Maridon, Coridon, duh. King Gambit. This is actually pretty standard. I, I, I wouldn't say it's pretty standard, but this is where you, this is the best team you're gonna see running Glamora. Necrozma Duskmane. And then Stream Killer. This is going to be the best uh, team you can you're gonna see running ladder. With Glamora, that is. So what's cool with Glamora is there's there's two pretty good sets that you can run with it. Um, but when you look at its moveset, you're going to think this is a little weird. But it is just how it works in Ubers, at least. You're always going to want uh, Terra Ghost. Um, spikes, again, I already mentioned why Spikes are better than Stealth Rock. Mortal Spin for removal. And then these last two, you're going to want Mud Shot and Dazzling Green. These are the two best moves you can get on Glamour. I'll tell you why. Uh, a lot of Karadon, Scale Shot Karadon especially, will like to just lead on Karadon. Or will like to lead on Glamora and just click Scale Shot. When that happens and I have Dazzling Gleam, they get Oko if I'm Max Attack. Mudshot, um, Mudshot is how you want to beat things like Taunt Maridon. So if something leads Maridon into your pretty obvious Glamora, always Mudshotting, then Mortal Spinning, Mudshotting, switch to preserve the Sash, because uh, they're always going to Taunt turn one. It's it's pretty nice. And then if they do attack and you did Mudshot, you can always get up a Spike right after, or you can Mortal Spin. Because if not, they'll um, uh, they're they're minus one speed, so you're winning that exchange always. Always gonna want to go focus sash with this, but there is a few sets you can go Glamora. The best one usually is gonna be max speed, max special attack. But if you have the time on your hands and you wanna optimize it, there's a few optimized versions where you run a certain amount of defense IVs to always live Karate on scale shot. There's there's you can optimize this a lot of different ways, so it's pretty cool to see how. Glamour has played out in this tier. Next with Maradon, we're going to want to go with the best set of all time, uh, Taunt Pivot Boots. This just allows you to play. It gives you it gives you a second way to play around webs because you can taunt and if they do get up webs, you can always remove it. This gives you um, huge special breaking power even off of heavy duty boots. I will say when I run this team though sometimes, uh, if I'm not running Black Glasses Gambit, I will go with the stall uh, counter team set. So that is Life Orb, Taunt, Calm Mind. This set works really great. Even if you're not playing Stall uh, into Glyph Score Balance, especially anything without Tim Blue, this thing will trade versus anything slower than it 100% of the time. Draco Meteor and Electro Drift coming off of Life Orb is just disgusting damage. Taunt is still huge, and Calm Mind lets you set up in those slower games. But if not, you can still Terra Fairy and its max speed. Still a very good Mirai on set. This is what I like to go with, but Taunt Boots also works. Uh, Karadon, you're going to want to go Scale Shot with this, and you're going to want to keep a Terra Ghost. This King Gambit, the standard set, is usually the best one. Uh, except this Terra is bad. You're going to want to go Terra Fire to always set up on um, Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh loves walling out a lot of this team, especially you don't want to get Maridon too chipped a lot of the time. So that's why a lot of these guys are usually Terra Fire. Um... So, King Gambit can run three items pretty viably. It'll go always Dreadplate, Leftovers, where Terrifier and Leftovers, it can it usually does extremely well. 
and Air Balloon last. Air Balloon's really nice because it fully walls out most offensive NDM sets. Not defensive Dragon Dance, but things like offensive Trick Room will usually exclusively run things like Photon EQ. With the Terra, Terra Fire is usually best. I've seen Terra Flying before, although I don't think it's as good. Terra Dark used to be better while Basket Legion was still in the tier, but it's just not as good now. It does not do enough to Coridon and Zacian where it wouldn't be better to just defensively Terra and hit them. Last with the Necrozma, this Necrozma is interchangeable with two guys. You can go with three Necrozma sets, but I find I find Trick Room works best, actually. Um, Trick Room with Terra Psychic and Lumberry, actually. Terra Psychic lets you break through some uh, chipped, physically defensive Arceus's, which are much more common, namely things like Will-O-Wisp with Tercius. Very common on ladder right now. Um, it works pretty well, and then sometimes, if you do get up Trick Room and you die, it is nice, you just you still have a whole King Gambit in the back. King Gambit, even with some speed EVs, I think I used to run just enough speed to underspeed uh, in speed Necrozma. I just said speed a lot in that sentence. Uh, used to run things like that, because King Gambit still loves taking advantage of Trick Room, even if it was, is, even if it is running some speed uh, EVs. Um, and then lastly, oh yeah, sorry, I said this thing can run two or three viable sets. Um, this, it can also go with Defensive Dragon Dance. I don't think Offensive Dragon Dance is as good. You're going to want the max HP, honestly. Max HP Necrozma does a lot of things. Then last, you can just fully forego Necrozma. I've seen this work with Zacian really well. Super Standard Zacian set, the one I already covered. So stuff like SD, CC, Wild Charge, Behemoth Bash. Um, that stuff works pretty well. Last, you're going to want E-Killer. E-Killer is nice to have that double priority with King Gambit and Arceus. It's hard to get bowled over by things like webs with this and um yeah oh i completely forgot this i'm going on a bit of a tangent now but the reason king gambit is so good into this because the one thing it doesn't love facing is screens and with king gambit and screens you just lead you just lead versus um the guy and you click iron head so that's always really nice and then last you got e-killer so you can go standard e-killer or i've seen again Arceus Ground, just because this team does not love the Maridon matchup. Usually DD works best, um, but I've also seen uh, CM work. Uh, not Spadef CM, usually some mix of uh, physical defense as well. But those are usually going to work best, so those teams are... Uh, I hope I gave a good tutorial on how to build these pretty standard. I kind of just talked about building them and their options but if you follow the sort of archetype this the sort of roles that i gave them you can build the, the one thing about ubers is in every play style there's maybe seven to eight viable mons for everything but um within those seven to eight viable mons there's a lot you can change in that team which is nice so what what's nice about the metagame is there's a lot less to account for but there's also a lot less to play with I really like that though, so it's to each their own. Uh, in the description, I will be linking some standard HO samples I put together. Uh, these were mostly compiled from just stuff I built that was standard and stuff Oreo passed me. Um, if you guys have enjoyed the video so far, sub, like, all that good stuff. And I hope you guys have fun building and testing these teams on ladder. If you want to see another video like this where I cover stuff like bulky offense balance and stall as well, Leave a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and peace.